Today, we're going to do a quick demonstration of the Lucent 360 by showing how easy it is to set up a reaction. Let's highlight a few of the Lucent 360's key features. Its temperature controlled environment comes with a built-in reservoir and heat exchanger. We offer a variety of reaction vessels that enables you to easily perform parallel batch or flow photochemistry. And our proprietary design provides unparalleled control of both your light's intensity and wavelength. Check out this illustration of the Lucent 360. You'll notice that inside the device is our thermally insulated reaction chamber. The chamber sits on top of a powerful disc-shaped LED module, while the chamber's exterior walls are surrounded by an additional four LED light modules. Each of these five LED modules, the bottom disc as well as the four side modules, can be independently operated as well as swapped for different wavelengths. Let's get started. First, Mick, a little help? The LED buttons allow you to control the intensity of each module. As we navigate from the first module to the second, and then to the third module, you can also see how the power buttons enable us to adjust the intensity of a specific module. As we move left to right across the Lucent 360's operation panel, you can set specific reaction times and pause the reaction counter when necessary. Under the timer is the temperature gauge to indicate the temperature inside the reaction chamber. There are five available presets for the modules which you can program to your needs. The stir control allows you to set the speed of the heavy duty stirring magnets under the reaction chamber. Simply press the control knob, turn it on or off. The right side of the panel is dedicated to the operation of the Lucent 360's integrated temperature control system. The reaction coolant valves enable precise control over the fluid circulating through the reaction chamber with a separate lever to control the flow rate. Peeking all the way along the right side of the machine, you can see the connection ports to the heater chiller. Now that we've quickly covered the instrument panel, let's demonstrate setting up a reaction. For this example, we're using our two milliliter vial reaction vessel, which is a typical setup for parallel photochemistry. Once we connect the temperature probe and everything is situated, the reaction vessel gets inserted into the reaction chamber. Then we use the quick connects to connect the inlet and outlet of the thermostatic fluid. As you turn on the pump, water will start to circulate. At this point, simply close the Lucent 360 and start the timer for the reaction. Then turn on the light modules and everything has started. We'll take a quick peek to show it's working, but please be sure to leave the lid closed while a reaction is underway, and please don't forget to wear your safety glasses. Once your reaction is finished, simply disconnect the thermostatic fluid connections, remove the temperature probe from the reaction vessel, and then you can remove the vessel itself. If you want to access the light modules, remove the thumb screws on the plate surrounding the reaction chamber. Once the plate is removed, it's easy to lift the reaction chamber out if it needs cleaning or to get better access to the LED modules. With the reaction chamber removed, you have direct access to each of the light modules, which can be swapped out to accommodate different wavelengths. Thanks for watching our video on the Lucent 360. Look for more videos in the future on specific capabilities. For more information, including a detailed product brochure, as well as the ability to schedule a private demo, please visit us at hepaticam.com slash Lucent 360.